So Ryan, I was thinking we should do a segment on all that stuff that you found at your grandma's house. I think it'd be really funny. That's not happening. <gasps> Look at everybody working together, doing a little sound check. This is great. No, Ryan, she's trying to sabotage the show. I think what she's trying to say is, we miss your face. Finally, after a few rough episodes, uh, things, as you may know, have been a little uh, tough here on the All Right Show. Um, but the girls are back in town. We got the band back together. In fact, um, you know, why don't we? Why don't we just bring them out? Come get it and be Help. out here. Stop it! Help, Ryan! Help! 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 You may not have a ton of friends, but you might have family. And what better way to get to know your family than by snooping in their bedroom and taking a look at their things? What do you say? Let's get to know my own grandmother. First thing we found, plain old pair of reading glasses. Wonder what it'd like to be a grandma. Speaking of reading, looks like we've got a, uh, a believer. <laughs> Grandma, I always knew you'd get the beaver fever. We got a twofer on this one. Never knew firefighters like wrestling so much. Oh, wow, this thing's pretty heavy. This is our family video camcorder. A lot of memories shot on this thing. Speaking of, aw, my first soccer game. Looks like it's been taped over. <laughs> Would you look at that, it's my grandma. She looks so young. Looks like a bunch of people skinny dipping in the living room. Next up, one of my favorite treats. Grandma's jelly. I don't know exactly where to get it in stores, but uh, what do you say we make one? You could not use too much jelly. Not in all cases. If grandma sees you to use too much, that's a whole nother problem. You gotta eat it fast so grandma don't catch you. Mm. Now this next one, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Whew. Oh boy. Emergency flashlight. My grandma is a safety freak. <sighs> Not a bad idea to have in the bedroom, too. Hey! What are you doing in my room? Get out, murderer! The last item we found is very near and dear to my heart. My grandfather served in the Korean War, and he died in a terrible accident. It's great to see that she tries to keep him around. There are times I really wish I would have got to know my pop pop. When I look at this, it makes me feel like I did. Miss you, pop pop. Let's take a break. When thinking about desserts, it's okay to try gelato, but don't bring it to a church potluck. It is not ice cream. That's right, Jefferson. Gelato is not ice cream. Gelato is Italian, and Italians are Catholics, and we don't like Catholic dessert at our church. The, the more, more you, you pray. pray. Okay, I know you. I know what you're capable of and I want the truth. How did you hop around between two shows? I don't know what you're talking about. Why does everyone keep blaming me? I don't know what you and Ryan think I'm up to and I don't care. I'm just trying to help finish the season. Oh my god. The night you left the show. Yes, producer. I was a little high from smoking on a break with Sound Guy, but I remember. I heard you on the phone with Rodney. He offered you $200 a day and you took it. Yeah, I did. Is that a good day rate? Cuz I'm still an unpaid intern. Hey, Sound Guy, what's your day rate? Thanks for staying tuned to our show. Welcome back. With us, we have a really talented, 
director, yeah, producer, yeah, CEO, yes, best boy, yeah, video editor, the script writer, yeah, the script editor, yeah, talent, actor, all the, all those things for Door Monster. It's a YouTube channel. I I have run a channel called Door Monster. We have about eleven people, including me. And uh, everybody just cycles in and acts and kind of helps out with some other things when I'm not able to get to them. And we make comedy sketches every single week, um, every Monday uh, for the last three years now. How many think you have done? Um, we've done about 150. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I think it, it came out to like about seven hours total of, of video. So it's, uh, it's been a lot. Door Monster's currently almost at 200,000 subscribers. How the heck do you get that many subscribers? Work a lot for a long time. <laughs> As it turns out, there isn't really an easy way to get it particularly fast. For us, the biggest change was actually dedicating ourselves to making a new thing every week, no matter what happened and uh, making sure that the stuff just kept coming out because it brings people back in because they know when you're going to be releasing something new and it makes more and more videos for more people to find and eventually discover the channel and uh, yeah, just kind of snowballs eventually. So it's more about the content than it is about uh, liking people's comments and, and subscribing to channels. Well, I've always thought so. Um, I, there's lots of uh, examples to the contrary of that. Um, there's lots of like YouTube best practices that if you want to be a YouTuber you do these these things that YouTube tells you to do and we don't do any of those at all. We're really bad at actually doing YouTube. We're not YouTube either. <laughs> <laughs> Although you can find us on YouTube. If YouTube isn't necessarily your favorite and you're not going to do Austin Public, where would your content best be served. Unfortunately, there isn't really a great alternative to YouTube if you want to help build community. YouTube has Google's infrastructure behind it and it's uh, it's where everybody is. So, you know, if you want to share your videos around, that's that's where you kind of have to go. Um, we are currently working on setting up our website to kind of operate separately and, uh, and host all of our videos regardless of what happens anywhere else. Um, but for the most part, we're realizing that it's just kind of time to try to move on beyond the internet and try to spread our wings a little bit to make something bigger than what we've been doing. And so we're working on a, a big project called Sky Vault. It's a full 12 episode series, 30 minutes each. Uh, it's this big space adventure like TV show and we raised about $150,000 on Kickstarter for it last uh, month. And yeah, we're gonna be producing that a little bit later this year and hopefully releasing it the following year and trying to sell it to somebody like Netflix or Amazon, maybe Hulu, but not YouTube, not YouTube Red. Not gonna do that because that's kind of, kind of counters everything that I'm talking about. Kyle, thanks for being on the show. Yeah, thanks for, for inviting me. It was, it was a lot of fun. I'm glad, glad I was able to come. Can you help us with subscribers? Yes. Should be within, within the day, actually.
got that baby. Is that some fan mail? Do you guys want to hear some fan mail? Don't worry guys, this happens all the time. When my mom starts winning at the casino, she forgets to pay my bills on time. Well, this is an eviction notice. Eviction? It's been a long time coming. Grandma said she's gonna cut me off when I was 21. Rodney Staghorn is currently live on Facebook talking about the All Right Show. That's so sweet. What's he saying? Today, a bill providing universal health care passed right in this building behind me. Right. Now, a that lot of people. Right. Ryan Shirley got me drunk on my show, hey. okay? Ryan What's he saying? Shirley got me drunk like an idiot. But all the little rods know that that isn't me. No, that isn't guy. me. I drink Dave milk. I'm a good guy. A full he put a whole drink in, in my field. fireball. And God damn it, Rodney. We are live. And I'm not going to let right. you f it up. What? You don't want me to see it? Am I still Facebooking? Shit. Did I just say though. f God damn it. Baby. Thanks a lot, Rodney. Did you miss me? Everybody thinks it's funny, but it isn't funny. He made me poop my pants on live TV. And when I figure out how he did it, the heavens will shake. Did you have an accident? Was it embarrassing? <coughs> We're here to help clean you up from all that mess. We'll wipe your case totally clean so you can stop over explaining yourself and leave those skid marks in your past. Call today. Pew Pew and Pee Pee. Next week on The All Right Show. Right there! That's when he put shit in my pants! Uh, you, you, you seem very aware that there's something hap happening there. Watch my eye! Yeah. You can see my body taking in the new information. Yeah. It must have been a tube!